Good evening. You're watching Business Day, and I'm Nisha Podar. And straight to the earnings of the day, LNT Finance Holdings has posted a 21% rise in the net profit at 171 crore rupees in the fourth quarter, driven by healthy loans as well as stable asset quality. Now, the company's gross non-performing asset ratio increased to 2.03% compared with 1.80% a year back. Now, the net NPA ratio also rose from 1.17% to 1.26% during the same period. Now, for more on the results, we are joined by the management of the company. N. Sivaraman, uh, the president of LNT Finance Holdings, joins us on the show from Mumbai. Mr. Sivaraman, thanks so much for joining in. First of all, could you briefly take us through the main contributors of your profits for the quarter gone by? The overall profit growth from uh, the NBFC business is about uh, 30%. Uh, the profit from the NBFC activities are about 612 crores, uh, whereas the consolidated profit uh, is about uh, 559 crores. Now, the difference is primarily contributed by the uh, losses from the investment management business, which we believe is, a, a part, uh, is something which should break even in the current fiscal year. Uh, then going forward, it should start contributing to our overall value. Looking at different uh, segments, Mr. Sivraman, how has your lending business really performed for the quarter and which segments of the business uh, have really done well for the company? If you uh, look at the numbers, right, uh, the retail and mid-markets business, uh, which is constitute the corporate lending, as well as the infrastructure have been uh, pretty much in uh, similar lines in terms of growth, give or take a few percentage points. The profits from the infrastructure segment is about 344 crores, and from the uh, L&T retail and corporate segment uh, is about uh, 270 odd crores of rupees. That's a number that they've been able to contribute. Both of them have shown a growth uh, of about 30% uh, uh, in their profits for the year as a whole. Of course, the quarter level profit has been slightly better than that number, that average percentage. Sivraman, on a QOQ basis, your NPAs have come in at 1.26% versus 1.56%. So take us through the asset quality and how have they performed for the year gone by? The asset quality, there has been, uh, of course, uh, the asset has uh, been with other uh, uh, NBFCs. Uh, they have definitely been uh, uh, on continuing stress for the entire quarter. Uh, however, I have to. I'm happy to say that the overall asset quality uh, has remained fairly uh, stable as compared to the uh, uh, December numbers. From actually, it has come down from 2.33% uh, gross NPA to about 2.04%. Uh, we would have done better if the the corporate segment uh, had uh, uh, has been more stable and have been able to continue to uh, service our loans. Uh, unfortunately, given the working capital cycle and the current economic situations. Uh, uh, some of the corporates have really gone into uh, difficulties in continuing their servicing, which resulted in the corporate uh, NPS actually going up. Uh, overall, I think uh, it's a satisfactory uh, uh, achievement, uh, rather result, I would say, in the context of uh, the current environment. Right. My question will be taking a lead from what you just said. How much of an impact has the current slowdown in the economy really had on your business as well as the profits? And uh, can we really expect a turnaround in FY14? What is your view? Yeah, I, I think uh, the, the, there will be three components uh, that the current economic situation is actually uh, contributing to. One is that the investment is at a very low up and the, no new, not many new projects are being announced. Uh, even some of the existing projects under implementation have been put on hold or cancelled. Uh, so consequently, the disbursement growth have definitely been impacted. At, uh, on a year-on-year -year basis, we have been very flat on our disbursement. Uh, there is no major growth coming through. Second is the, uh, uh, the margins. The current liquidity situation in the economy is not very helpful to improving the borrowing cost. Uh, consequently, the, the margins uh, uh, are less, optim less optimal. While it has shown an improvement, it is still continues to be lower than what is an ideal uh, uh, margin numbers. The third is the delinquency-related costs, which have been substantially higher than the previous year. In fact, uh, the, the overall Increase has been more than 45 to 50 percent as far as the overall delinquency cost is concerned. So all of these have contributed to a, a bit of a challenge in meeting the uh, uh, overall our business uh, goals. Uh, definitely, in the context of the economic environment and also the the three points that I spoke about, uh, a profit growth of about 30 percent is definitely uh, heartening as far as the NBFCs are concerned.
And away from the quarterly numbers, Mr. Sivraman, you are also one of the front runners for applying for the bank licenses. Now, what clarifications have you sought from the RBI on the same and what preparations have you made on that front? I think one cannot ask clarification just in uh, one's context. It has got to be in the context of um, uh, what the guideline is, is saying and then we need to understand it better. So there is nothing that will be uh, so unique that we will ask definitely. Uh, I think RBI is expected to respond to all of this in, about, in a few days. That's what uh, they have said. So we'll wait for those clarifications to come back. Mr. Sivraman, thanks so much for joining us and uh, throwing more light on the Q4 numbers of the company. Thank you so much for joining in. And there are more numbers trickling in. Remember, earnings season is in full bloom.